hello everyone this is Tej here I want to show you Robotium example uh, to get it running on the emulator so first I'm going to Mozilla okay this is the page where the example project is given so download this project I've already done it so basically go to my folder where it's already downloaded copy the address of it then come back to Eclipse go right click import import it as existing projects paste it here then do a refresh you see two projects notepad this project is an actual application what you want to test notepad test is an application which tests the actual application so we finish what what my project should be in here notepad test depends on notepad application so if i go to my project properties then check the projects i see my i see the reference to my notepad project this means that every time notepad application is notepad test is run notepad application will be installed onto the device so if we do a right click then select run as android JUnit test you should have your emulator or the device connected in my case i'm using emulator so it's easy for you easy for me to show the demo to you guys what happens here is okay down here you can see that there's some compilation stuff being done then after that it's saying it's launching notepad test one so it came in here then launch the notepad application did the first test click on it did the second adding the second note then editing the so first test is completed starts the second test for editing the test note okay this is all the stuff that's going on so this is being handled by JN3 so main things that we should know is in my Android manifest XML file I should mention which project I'm going to test so that's basically com example Android notepad so this is the actual application that I'm going to test and that should be same as what is there in Android manifest XML of the application I'll be testing so if I come here yeah see this it's the same so this is a very basic example on how to test how to run the Robotium test I'll be doing more videos get more information on that on how to run the test how to do some configuration also we'll be doing a video on how to run tests on APK so you don't need the actual source code of the source code of the application you just need an APK and yeah there's some stuff like resigning to be done I'll be covering it in my next tutorial thanks bye for now cheers